Z banding in your 3D prints can be a real pain. So can Mirage C's new Wobble X be the magic bullet to get perfect alignment? Let's find out. As I've explained in previous videos, Z banding can be one of the most difficult problems to fix with your 3D printer. Previously, I made a video testing community fixes designed by my patrons, and while they got great results, my printers remained unchanged. Oliver from the Mirage C channel and creator of the Hevolt 3D printer got in touch and offered me a set of his Wobblex stabilizers, so let's have a closer look, fit them to my machines, and do some before and after test prints. Wobblex is available to buy on AliExpress with collaboration from Mellow. You'll see that there's three different sizes to suit different lead screws and bolt screws. The 8mm will suit the average lead screw and the larger sizes have the dimensions so you can check them if you're running a bolt screw. Each Wobble X uses magnets, ball bearings and pins to couple your lead screw or bolt screw nut to your printer's gantry. And these are all located on a CNC machined metal plate. Typically, the connection between the lead screw nut and the printer's gantry is solid with the two directly being bolted together. But as shown in this snappy animation, Wobblex goes in between the two and allows a lot of freedom of movement. This includes both slide and tilt in two different directions, which should eat up any misalignment and make sure that the rotation of the lead screw translates to vertical linear motion. The price for a single Wobblex is $17.71 US. However, I received my units in this video for free and they will be tested in accordance with my review policy. I think it's worth acknowledging the collaboration between Mello and the design team of the Hevort. Evo Moto had the initial concept, which has been developed by the Hevort design team and community, and now Mello has made the design a reality. On to unboxing, or should I say unbagging. Each Wobblex has three sub bags, one of them containing the ball bearings, another containing the metal pins. These will be inserted into printed adapter parts, and then finally, a pre-assembled centerpiece with the magnets already in place. The quality here is fantastic with precise machining and a nice surface finish. And by pre-assembling some ball bearings, we can see that the magnets will hold them in place and keep the entire assembly together. Let's preview operation by inserting the remaining pins in a printed adapter piece. As we can see, the Z-axis nut will go on one side and the other half will bolt to the top of the printer. And if we articulate the mechanism, we can see that all of the degrees of freedom that were promised in the animation exist on the real product. That means that if the lead screw is bent or misaligned, it won't move positions as the Z-axis is traveling up, causing these vertical ripples in the walls of the print. Bent or misaligned parts can be one of the key contributors to Z-banding. On paper, this is an ideal solution to correct any misalignment or bent lead screws. So let's get them fitted and try them out. First, my Ender 3, which has not really developed Z banding, but more inconsistent layer stacking, which the community fixes were unable to repair. The AliExpress store page doesn't really have any documentation, but it does have a link to Mirage C's GitHub. On here, we have some adapter parts to suit various printers, including the Creality Ender 3. My second target, which is very similar in structure to the Ender 3, is the CR10 Max. It's not super obvious, but it suffers from classic Z banding with the waves repeating at a set height. As you can see from this picture, for Wobblex to be compatible with either of these printers, you need to be running direct drive. Otherwise, the adapter will foul the stepper motor in its stock position for the Bowden extruder. You'll also need to fit a constraint for the top of the lead screw. This is a printable part, which is included on GitHub. If you're running dual Z axis like me, you'll need to make a copy for the other side by mirroring this part along the X axis. It's also worth noting that you should inspect the lead axis nut fitted to your printer. Wobblex is designed for a round nut on the left, but Creality often uses the smaller nut on the right, which has a wider hole spacing. So you can either use the round nut or import the provided step files into your CAD and change the hole spacing by one millimeter per side. Creality lead screw nuts also tend to have an M3 thread, so you'll need to drill this out to 3mm to use them. Apart from that, there's no special printing considerations, and no support material is needed either. As we saw earlier, the printed adapters for top and bottom will need 4 rods inserted into each. 
The top piece can then be positioned and bolted to the underside of the gantry. I found M3 by 8mm bolts to be the perfect length and they'll cut their own thread as you insert them. For the lower adapter, we again use M3 by 8mm bolts and cut our own thread as we attach the nut. I found it easiest to pull out the lead screw and then pre-assemble Wobble X on the shaft and then rotating the lead screw to lift the assembly up to meet the gantry. At this stage, I hadn't fully tightened the M3 bolts because I was still yet to install the required lead screw bearing support up the top. For the end of three, I had to turn this upside down to reach. After this had been tightened, everything was sitting in a natural position, so I tightened the rest of the bolts. For the record, I used a rigid coupler with a plain stepper mount at the base. The CR10 Max install was more or less the same, and I replaced the factory sliding lead screw holders at the top with the same printed ones that I used on the end of three. The only other difference was my CAN adapter mount was in the way, so I had to design a slightly more offset one. Now was a good time to re-lubricate your lead screws with a nice synthetic grease. And if you're running dual Z, you'll need to re-level the gantry. The end of three can do this automatically because I'm running dual Z with each stepper controlled independently by the firmware. But my CR10 Max still has synchronized Z steppers, so I needed to manually turn the lead screws until each side of the gantry was the same height from the solidly mounted bed. Onto the rat rig, which I built up in a series on this channel. I would say generally, its Z layer stacking is quite good, despite the fact there's some wobble in the lead screw as it rotates, but there is an interface available for it, so why not try it out? The only trouble is it's for version 3.1 and I'm still on version 3 because I didn't want to pull apart a perfectly working printer. As Ratrig have 3D models of the machine online, I was able to inspect this and see what new parts I needed to print to get Wobblex fitted. So in addition to the printed parts on the Wobblex GitHub, I also needed to print these top lead screw supports that have a bearing in them and a new holder for the rear center Z stepper motor which positions it more centrally. As I wouldn't be reusing these lead screw nuts, I ordered three of these Delrin lead screw nuts. Ratrig uses a different pitch to those from Creality, so look up the build of materials for Ratrig if you're ordering the same. The install starts just like the Creality machines, inserting the lead screw nuts onto the lower adapters, followed by the metal pins, which also have a set inserted into each of the replacement Ratrig bed mounts. Conveniently, the Ratrig's kinematic bed simply lifts out of the way, and then we can start to disassemble the old bed mounts. Once the pieces are off, we can transfer over the magnets and other mounting hardware. The new parts are very visually similar, so this becomes quite obvious what we need to do. V-Core version 3.1 moves the linear rails 90 degrees to a different surface, so this added one small step for me. Apart from that, installation was quite straightforward, with the Wobblex suitable parts going back on instead of the originals. These top lead screw supports are vanilla V-Core version 3.1 and they match the Wobblex modified parts perfectly. With Wobblex fitted, the final step is to reinstall the kinematic bed, followed by using Clipper's Z Tilt to get the three Z axis lead screws level. Everything was in place on all three printers, so it was time to hit print. The test model you're seeing here, I previously published to printables and the link is in the description. And for each of the printers, I completed a before test prior to installing the Wobblex parts. The same G-code was then used for the after test. First up, the rat rig, and left was already pretty good, but I'm sure you'll agree that the version on the right using Wobblex just looks a little bit cleaner. It's only a marginal gain, but I'm certainly not complaining, and one of my best printers is now even better. Next up, the end of three, and this one didn't go so well. The uneven layer stacking is there just as before, but there's some new horizontal bands that weren't present on the standard print. I've had this printer for a long time now and it's done many hours, so potentially the lead screws might need replacing. Here's the CR10 Max back to back and this is when I knew something wasn't right, because the version with the Wobblex on the right was vastly inferior to the original. The several new bands introduced where it appears the Z axis has not been moving smoothly at all. So on to troubleshooting. Reviewing my footage, I noticed that on the rat rig, when there was no weight loaded up on one of the corners, that the Z axis tended to jump up and down instead of moving smoothly. But then after the heavy bed was installed, there would be sufficient downward pressure to keep everything engaged and stop it moving around. So I started a reprint on the CR10 Max and found this was the exact problem. 
the rotation of the stepper motor wasn't always translating into vertical Z movement. But when I applied some downward pressure with my finger, everything locked into its proper position, the Wobble X still providing articulation, but allowing the Z stepper to directly move that side of the gantry. I discussed this with Oliver, and we agreed that a certain amount of weight was required to keep everything pressed together. Therefore, he's added this warning to the end of three section, advising users as much. It's also worth pointing out that Oliver couldn't have tested this himself because up to this point, he didn't own an Ender 3. To experiment, I hung 500 grams on this side of the gantry and started the print for a final time. The result is very promising. Ignore the filament change in the middle because I ran out of gold, because beyond that, this is clearly the best result so far with the periodic Z banding from the original print on the left missing from the final print test on the right. It's clear to me that this works very well as a concept. You can see the rat rig rods are wobbling, yet the Z motion remains very smooth. And in the instances where there's sufficient mass to hold Wobble X components together, there's a clear improvement in print quality. Looking at the results, I think we disregard the Ender 3 results until I change the lead screws. This system wasn't designed for Cartesian printers, but I'm gonna experiment and try adding perhaps some tension springs to hold the parts together without so much weight on top. And that's because for me, the results when enough weight is pushing down are too good to abandon. And I think that proves how good the concept is. Let me know what you think of Wobble X or any potential solutions to my problems down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy band free 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.